I decided to make a quick video. It's not a tutorial video. It is kind of a video in which I'll be showing you how I make a beat, my process, and a couple tricks for the more advanced users. And as a disclaimer to all the people who like leaving comments, whining about, oh, it's so boring, your videos put me to sleep, why don't you just use FL Studio? FL Studio is so much better. I can't do what I'm about to do in FL Studio. And my advice to you is to A, recognize that everyone has their own process to producing music and they have their own preferences, and B, check out this new function from YouTube that they've installed in every single video. It's the stop button. So if you see something you don't like in a video, I suggest you explore the possibilities of that stop function. All right, so that being said, I've already started this skeletal framework for this beat, sample based. Let me play the sample really quickly. Okay, you get the point. Stop. So I threw the sample into acid and I manipulated it a little bit. I pitched it up by two, and remember you can do that by just clicking on any one sample and adjusting the track properties. In the track properties, my track type is set to a, a one shot for this particular sound, this piano. Uh, I didn't beat map it, uh, I just used a one shot because there's less distortion that way. And that's something for advanced users because with a one shot, it's harder to get every single hit on time. And so you have to do a little cutting and some more manipulations. But the quality of a one shot is generally much higher than the quality of a loop or a beat map because when you change the track tempo, there's absolutely no stretching that occurs. So that's what I have. What I ended up doing for this particular sample is uh, I wanted some variation. So I have the sample playing once at normal speed and then once at double time. And uh, this is what I mean by that. Listen up. So this is normal speed. You're about to hear double time. And you'll notice that the double time is pitched higher. This is this is the trick. This is trick number one that you learn. Um, in order to achieve that double time, first your track type has to be set to a one shot to prevent distortion. T to make any track double time, you just have to pitch it up by 12 steps or by 12 semitones. So try it out. It's a, it's a cool trick to add variety into your beats, especially beats that are sample based where you can't really do too much to a sample. You can always, you can always double time it if appropriate. Uh, I added a crash symbol at the beginning and then a reverse symbol throughout. You can hear that here. double time and then I started to program my drums as well this is what they sound like thus far the piano sample is pitched up so its frequencies are in the high frequency range that means that you have all of this sonic space that still needs to be filled. There's this emptiness. So we need to fill some of the mid and low frequencies. So I added another sample, just horns. This is what this sample sounds like without any manipulation. And I decided to use that sample because it's it has a lot of uh, strong low and mid frequencies. So that's what I did. I pitched it down a little and cut it up quite a bit as you can see so that the sample itself isn't recognizable but the sample adds texture to the already laid out uh, piano sample. So this is what that's going to sound like. Or in fact that's what it does sound like. Then of course I added another sample because I tend to overdo things. Um, and this one is more horns. 
And uh, this is what it sounds like originally. <laughs> So I pretty much did the same thing that I did to the last horn sample and just selected a piece of that that I wanted to incorporate into the composition to add more texture. And I pitched it down by nine semitones. sounds off of my keyboards. Uh, right now I'm going to use the Yamaha motif. It's controlled by this PSR 540. I'm using kind of this analog sounding uh, synth. You can hear that. So I'm just going to play and mess around until I can come up with something that's cool. So if I have something I like, I just hit the record button on Acid or as a shortcut, Control R and I'm ready to record. Now for the bass line, uh, bass lines are hard, good bass lines are hard, it's easy to just put a couple uh, bass notes just to thicken up the lower frequencies and sometimes that's good enough, I'm not sure in this case, so I'm going to mess around a little. playing playing the bass line it's a technique it's like a jazz technique or something where you play the bass slightly slower than uh, the actual beat you kind of stagger it there's a better term for it so I'm gonna try something like that idea. I'll give you this sushi for that beat. Four rolls? It's five. It's a deal. Yeah. That's how deals are made. Morimoto. Welcome to the rap industry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>